The Caribbean is no stranger to droughts. By definition, a drought is an extensive period of very little to no rainfall which has its significant negative impacts. In this video, we'll be zooming in on areas which typically experience drought conditions and how those may be enhanced in the coming months. In addition, mitigation measures will be discussed which may make such conditions a little less intense for you and your loved ones. As usual, we're kickstarting with a fun question. Your question of the video is, which Caribbean island experiences the least rainfall annually? You may not be too solid on your answer immediately, but hints will be in the video and then the answer will be discussed later on, so stay tuned and attentive. Various weather systems contribute to the rainfall activity experienced across the Caribbean basin, such as tropical waves, which are troughs that propagate westward from the African coast. During the late spring and through early autumn is when there is a lot of instability in the atmosphere and when tropical waves usually occur. They induce periods of heavy rain in parts of the Caribbean and some may even intensify into tropical storms or hurricanes. The intertropical convergence zone also contributes to rainfall in the South Caribbean islands such as Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago. This zone is where the trade winds of the north and south meet. When they converge, rising air motion allows development of showers and thunderstorms. During late autumn and winter, weather systems from North America may dip into the Caribbean and bring inclement weather to some areas, and I actually went in depth about that in a previous video which you can go ahead and check out after this one. Even though there is a plethora of different phenomena which induce rainfall, there are some parts of the Caribbean which just don't experience much rainfall on an annual basis. That includes parts of the East Caribbean. During these summer months, tropical waves may be too far north or too far south to bring any substantial rainfall across these areas. An example is the Netherlands Antilles of Aruba, Bonaire and Curacao, which are popularly known as the ABC Islands. The three islands lie in a dry pocket where rainfall associated with tropical waves usually pass north and the intertropical convergence zone lies too far south for any substantial rainfall. There are also other islands such as Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda which don't experience much rainfall activity as much of the rain clouds associated with tropical waves pass to the south. Even though other Caribbean islands have their rainy seasons, there are also periods of very little rainfall across much of the basin, which is usually from December to April when a more stable pattern persists that allows for droughts to happen in many areas. That has a significant negative impact on our daily lives. It is a cultural practice in the Caribbean for many people who live in more rural, hillier areas to utilize the natural water sources found, such as rivers and streams for domestic and agricultural practices or even recreation. However, reduced rainfall activity over an extensive period of time results in slower velocity of rivers and streams. Areas of stagnant water in the riverbed are breeding grounds for pests such as mosquitoes and algae may also thrive, making it undesirable for human use, and there may also be an increased risk of diseases. The agricultural sector may suffer significant losses in the dry season. A reduction in irrigation causes plants to wither or produce underdeveloped crops and the chain reaction continues. To combat losses, farmers may heighten prices of their produce and that will in turn affect customers as they may be unable to afford said crops. Despite all the cons of the dry season we have just explored, there are some pros. Visitors from countries such as the USA, UK and Canada may travel to more tropical countries to escape the frigid temperatures in the wintertime. As we established, the dry season of the Caribbean on a whole is December through April, so with reduced weather systems such as tropical storms and hurricanes being a threat, it's the perfect time for tourists to enjoy the SSS, the sea, the sand and the sun. As a result, it's quite the economic boost and jobs are secured for locals as many residents are employed within the tourism sector. However, 
we now want to explore mitigation measures that you can take to lessen the magnitude of the impact of drought on your individual life. These are all methods of water conservation. 1. Instead of taking very long baths, take short showers to reduce water wastage. 2. When washing your vehicles, instead of using the hose, catching water in a container and using it will be a good method of conservation and will even help to reduce those bills. 3. If you're a farmer, a drip irrigation system helps tremendously as runoff and evaporation are reduced since more water infiltrates the soil. And 4. Though rainfall activity is limited, you can take advantage of whenever there is a downpour by having containers which catch rainwater, which can then be used for some domestic activities. As we head into the winter season and early spring, the Southeast Caribbean is most vulnerable to significant droughts, so it is important to have practices in place that will make the time period more bearable. Now, did you catch any of the hints through the video of the question asked earlier? The question was, which Caribbean island experiences the least rainfall annually? The answer is the island of Aruba. Located at roughly 12.5 degrees north latitude and 6 to 9.9 .9 degrees west longitude is the small island of Aruba. With an average temperature of 28 degrees Celsius and very little rainfall activity, it is regarded as the driest island in the Caribbean. The climate has allowed for xerophytic vegetation such as cacti to thrive there. Additionally, it is a great tourist destination with many hotels and beaches which hundreds of thousands of visitors enjoy on an annual basis, contributing to more than 80% of the country's GDP. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I trust and hope that you enjoyed it and learned something new. Share your thoughts down in the comments if you desire to do so and enjoy the rest of your day.